Hi, today we are going to learn how to let your users submit posts without accessing the site backend. CM User Submitted Posts is a WordPress plugin that allows logged in users submit posts, review drafts, and upload images via a customizable form. Admins can update and moderate their content and provide writing tips. We need to configure the plugin settings and prepare two pages for the users one with the submitting form and another one with the dashboard, where users can view and manage all their posts. Let's prepare the pages first. Navigate to Pages and click the Add New button. First page is needed for displaying the post editor. We need to add the short code Add Post Form to that page, then click Publish. Second page we create is for displaying the user's dashboard, and there we need to add the short code CM user SP Posts List. Then click Publish. Now, when the pages are prepared, it's time to configure the appearance and functionality of the post editor. Navigate to CM User Submitted Posts Settings. There you can see four tabs. Let's consider all of them step by step. First tab is General Settings. It has a few sections. Recaptcha Settings. Recaptcha is a test designed to filter bots, so it is recommended to turn it on and configure. That way you can restrict your site from undesirable content and overloading. It is very easy to configure. Head to the Google Recaptcha page. Just fill all needed information and click Submit. In result you will get Site Key and Secret Key. You need to enter them to the corresponding fields in Plugin Settings. Posts Management Settings in this section, we can allow users to edit their posts by enabling the respective option – Allow to edit posts. When you enable it, you need to choose the page with Post Editor in the drop-down menu Editor Page. In our example, we choose the page that we've created – Submit your post. Third option – Deletion Moderation. Enable it if you want to moderate when the user wants to delete his post. Template Override Settings. It's possible to override the theme of the post list generated by the shortcode CM User SP Posts List. This option is for advanced users. Second tab is Form Settings. Here you can find two sections with the following options. New Post Settings. Edit or Edited Post Status. Choose the status of the post when the user adds or edits it. For our example we choose the Draft Status, so the post will not be published until admin approves it. New Post Type Choose the type of the post that the user creates. You can choose regular or custom post types. New Post Template You can write here some template for user's post or leave it empty. Form Settings Post Featured Image Check it to let the user set featured image for the post. Media in Editor Check it to let the user upload media to the post using the button Add Media. File Extensions Write the list of allowed file extensions. If there is more than one, they should be separated by comma. Text Editor Check it to let the user use Text Editor for editing the post. By default, they can use only Visual Editor. Drag and Drop Upload Check it to let the user upload media to the post by dragging and dropping files. Post Taxonomies Select post taxonomies which the user will be able to set. Exclude Categories Select categories that the user is not allowed to choose. Post taxonomies multiple. Check it to let the user select multiple taxonomies. Excerpt. Check it to let the user add post excerpt. Tags. Check it to let the user add tags. Next tab is Notifications. Enable admin panel notification to display the message about posts that are waiting for the moderation. It will be displayed on the page with the list of posts. You can define who can see notifications. Let's choose Administrator for our example. You can also enable Admin Email Notifications for sending notifications. You need to write the email for sending notifications in the field Additional Emails to send Admin Notification to. If you want to set more than one email, they should be separated by comma. There are also two fields for customizing the notification email. Admin Email Notification Subject and Admin Email Notification Text. For customizing the email, you can use the following placeholders. Post Title to display the title of new post. Post URL to display link to new post. Post Edit URL to display link to edit new post. 
and post status to display current post status. It is also possible to send user email notification by enabling the relevant option. Notifications are sent every time when the post status changes. The same as for admin email notifications, you can customize the subject and text of email using the placeholders that you can see on the screen. Last tab is Labels. Here you can customize or translate the labels to any language you need. You can change lots of labels for the following directions. Form labels, user dashboard labels, email labels, and error and success messages. When all configuration is done, don't forget to click the button Save Changes at the bottom of the page. Now let's see the result. The user creates the post. When he fills all needed information and clicks Publish article, he can see the message that the article is submitted and waiting for moderation. The admin can get an email or see a panel notification about new posts. After reviewing, he can publish it or delete. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to let your users submit posts without accessing the site backend. Thanks for watching the video. 